Join us for a 15 minute tour of Pino's Iona as we explore the amenities, entertainment, restaurants, food, and bars. Starting on deck five, you can find the Oasis Gym and the Thermal Suite. As we move up to deck number six, you will find a wide range of main dining rooms on board. The after the ship on deck number six is the Pearl Restaurant. Just above on deck seven is the Coral Restaurant. You can also find the Aqua Restaurant on deck number six as well as Opal. So now let's take a look at some of the food we had in the main dining rooms. Ocean Studios is located midship on deck six. Here you can view a selection of films over four screens. There's also a handy screen outside showing you which seats are taken so you can find a seat quickly and easily. Nearby you can find Anderson's Bar and Library. Here you can get a wide range of drinks as well as a unique gin flight. There are plenty of games as well as books to browse through. You will also find the first distillery at sea. Here they make and bottle up gin to be sold on board. The Grand Atrium is the focal point of the ship and covers three decks. The 710 Club is a highlight for many on board the ship, including ourselves. Here you can relax take in some jazz music and enjoy a nice cocktail. Located just off the Grand Atrium is the Harbour Shop, where you can find essentials as well as books. The main bar on deck 6 located in the Grand Atrium is the Emerald Bar, serving a wide range of cocktails. Vista's Cafe Bar, also located in the Grand Atrium, serves sweet treats, Costa coffees, as well as a selection of tea pigs teas. The Limelight Club offers a three course meal exclusively for adults, besides some entertainment by some of Britain's best loved musical talents. We do recommend booking in advance to avoid losing a place in this sought after hotspot. Explore the work of world famous artists and hot new talents in the White Wall Galleries. Enjoy some me time in the Oasis Spa, offering spa therapies, body treatments, and more. Deck 7 mid aft houses cruise sales, shore excursions, and the Avenue shops. Here you can browse and purchase fashion, luxuries, duty-free, as well as Iona merch.
midship you can find reception as well as the photo hub. One of our favourite restaurants on board P&O ships is the Glass House, located here in the Grand Atrium of Deck 7. Check out the small plates, steaks and wine pairings. Brodie's Pub boasts the ship's largest range of British and international bottled beers, ciders and real ale. By day Brodie's hosts quizzes and live sport, and by night you'll find live entertainment, karaoke and game shows. Next to Brodie's is the casino, offering slots, blackjack, poker and more. The Headliners Theatre, located forward, offers daily shows from musical jukeboxes to comedians. Deck 8 features a wraparound promenade with plenty of seating and open space as well as the controversial mini-suites. There are six infinity whirlpools all facing out to the ocean. The Clubhouse offers afternoon family entertainment and in the evening live performances from the resident band Pulse, comedians, DJs and more. The Olive Grove offers southern and eastern Mediterranean dishes and sharing platters. The majority of the menu is included, with some options available for an additional charge. The Keys, located on Deck 8 mid-aft, is ideal for morning breakfasts through to dinner. This multi-venue dining piazza offers fish and chips, Asian food and American burgers or fried chicken. Sindhu showcases dishes such as pan roasted beef tenderloin and spiced mash, alongside ginger and mint tiger prawns and the signature dish, a trio of fragrant curries. For a little extra, Ripples is your one stop for gelato and sundaes. Keel and Cow offers authentic gastropub food, with dishes such as black pudding, scotch eggs, and the signature Prime Minister beef burger. With views over the Grand Atrium, out to sea, or even to the chefs at work in the open galley, it's the ideal spot to enjoy delicious food and craft ales. There's also complimentary self-service laundry on decks 9 to 16, as well as decks 5 and decks 4.
The Horizon restaurant offers all-day dining. The self-service space offers ocean vistas as well as hot drinks, water and juices that are included. The Beach House offers American-influenced specialty dishes in a closed-off section of the buffet seating area on Deck 16 midship. The Beach House highlights include the steaks, ribs, fajitas and hanging kebabs. The Sky Dome is a multi-purpose space on Deck 16 and 17 midship. During the day it's a great place to relax by the pool, but at night it turns into a performance venue showcasing live acts as well as regular shows such as Rise and Tribu. The Reef offers an environment for younger travellers with activities for toddlers to teens. Located on Deck 17 Forward, the Epicurean fuses classic dining elements with the best of modern British dining to create a sensuous menu, uniquely presented in a sophisticated and contemporary setting. Crow's Nest is a relaxing, chilled bar at the very front of the ship. Go here to enjoy the forward-facing views in a big comfy chair, or to relax with a book. The Beachcomber Pool and Bar is a great place to relax, go for a swim, enjoy a cocktail, or do all three. The Retreat is accessible for an additional charge and offers a private relaxation area. Hope you have enjoyed watching this vlog if you have please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below you can also check out georgeanddan.com or scan the qr code which is going to pop up on your screen shortly to look at all the menus from all the restaurants we've eaten at on board this cruise see you later